artificially a bayou. Thinking about mortality makes you, you know, you get that gray and start to start. You know, they got these Viagra commercials, crack me up. You know, oh man. Some, you know, that Viagra, I don't trust that shit, I'm sorry. Nah, nah, man. I read where some cats went blind. <laughs> got a heart on, they can't even see it. Now. Blind motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? I saw this one Viagra commercial, La Vitra, Cialis, Viagra. Latin names, all these euphemistic Latin names. You know, I would buy it if a company just said, buy dick hard. We got dick hard. <laughs> we are not bullshitting. <laughs> you know? <laughs> we are not fucking around, man. <laughs> all right, you got my vote. <laughs> the Vitra. <laughs> so I'm like chicks. Oh yeah, I just went and saw see Alice in the Vitri last night. <laughs> you know what I mean? I saw one commercial. I actually, my friend was in it, Jeff Joseph. I, I wish I never understood because I felt like asking about it. He was he was this cat who had uh, obviously erectile dysfunction. <laughs> and you know, and uh, all of a sudden he was happy. <laughs> And his friends couldn't pinpoint the reason why. You know, he walk in, they say, wow, man, you know, is that a new suit? Because you know, he was smiling, you know. And I thought to myself, that doesn't even, he said, you know, no, man, you know, my dick's getting hard again, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's the answer. But I thought, what's the connection? You know, if they said, hey, man, is your dick getting hard again? He said, no, this is a new suit. <laughs> you think, what the fuck did I miss? What did I miss? What is the connection? This is too fucking abstract for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know what I fucking mean, I tell you. I couldn't believe it, man. I don't know. But you know, you get, the, you get that mortality. I, you know, you start to think about, you know, hey, it's the new year. So you say, hey, you know, I made it. Right? Some people. Wouldn't it be pathetic to just die right before New Year's? You know, Eve at that moment, you know, 12, 15, when someone shoots your ass and you say, oh, wow, I, I didn't fucking make it. <laughs> I'm trying to make it. That's all you can actually do, isn't it? Just try to make it. Hope you have a good life, you know. But you know, you do wonder how you're gonna die. You know, so when you if you, if you have to die, and I, I'd like to die a natural death. You know, maybe just get you know shot or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty natural way to die in America these days, from what I'm saying. You know, I, mean, I put that on death certificates. Shot five times, naturally die. <laughs> Everybody would understand it. Oh, yeah, he didn't have a chance. You know. <laughs> Five times. Say, hey, no need to investigate that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. God, it's funny, man. You know, I just had a physical, you know, and the cat, you know, I'm one of these people, I, I work out a little bit, I play a lot of tennis, you know. I eat what I like, you know, I'm not really a fanatic about shit, you know, because I don't want to die in, in perfect health, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the goal. <laughs> yeah, when I die, no one's gonna know why the fuck I'm dead. <laughs> All of them will be studying me for years. <laughs> Unable to understand why. 
I am lying there dead. Everything will be working perfectly. You know, I don't know, man. I was watching, um, I don't know, I had some Jehovah's Witnesses come by my house today, which was, you know, but I'm, you know, I, I'm nice to them. You know what I mean? Because, you know, and you can tell they're not used to that. <laughs> you know, because if you open the door fast, they just jump back, you know, because they're so used to people saying, get the fuck off my porch, man. <laughs> not used to it. But I'm real, you know, calm, you know, and I, I, you know, I take their little watchtower, you know, and I sit there with them, and I read through it, you know. You know, just when they get that look in their eye of, oh, I think we got one. I say, nah, that's okay, I, I don't want to go to heaven. I say, you all gonna be there? Yes, well, no, no, that's okay. I'll pass. I'll pass. That's okay. There's no fucking in heaven. I know that, you know. <laughs> you ever wonder about shit like that? <laughs> you know, God say, come on in, fuck all you want, just fuck all <laughs> You lived a good life, just come on in and fuck. <laughs> That'd be great. The Arabs, man, I think they got the, the they must have the greatest heaven because people they just blow themselves up to try to get there. They're racing to get to their fucking heaven. They are taking shortcuts like a motherfucker to get to heaven. <laughs> Most people, you know, say, oh, you know. But they're running because, you know, they got them 72 virgins up there, you know, which is waiting for them, which is of such a bizarre number. How did they get to that number? <laughs> Was that a negotiation? <laughs> so you can't say, hey man, I ain't, I ain't, no, oh, shit, 68 virgins, you fucking insult me, man. <laughs> you know? I ain't blowing my ass up for no 68 virgins. <laughs> shit. Oh, Ahmed, Ahmed. <laughs> Have a hard bargain for your ass. I'll tell you that. I'll give you that, Ahmed. <laughs> okay, 72. <laughs> Not one virgin more, okay? <laughs> yeah. And they run to get there. You know what cracked me up? What if they get there and all the virgins are ugly? <laughs> you know what I mean? What if the only reason they're virgins is because no one in the Middle East will fuck them? <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, take care. Thank you.